Hey, how's it? Hola Ike Jr. here. Hey, long time no spuck you guys out, eh? Yeah, like I said, I was kind of like on the busy side. The busy side of learning. Life is my learning and playground place. But anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about something, you know, from the heart. I call this from the heart. Ever wonder why a skid's gotta lie? Or why anybody gotta lie? Well, I, I'm gonna put together a little short video. Hopefully you can kind of explain why. And maybe you can kind of figure out what you gotta do. So us kids no need lie. Okay? And I'm gonna show you another video of one little Keiki Vahine. One little girl who does not lie. So apparently her parents must have done a great job teaching her how not to lie. Or at least not punishing her for her lie or not punishing her for telling the truth unless of course she's one of them Anella angel straight from heaven trying to teach us adults and us children around the world what life is meant to be what aloha is so please sit back, relax. Call EK Junior. I gotta go. If I was, say, in Hawaii or any one of those South Sea Islands, and my language, the language that I speak, doesn't punish the truth if the language does not punish the truth then there is no words to lie with because you never need to lie and if you don't need to lie the words that you speak will be the truth factual as a result your operating system is constantly rewarded for telling the truth and truth if, however, you punish the child for telling the truth, spitting milk, uh, damaging the house, you now create an operating system that has learned that if you tell the truth, it's punishable. The child will now begin to find words that create covertness. It will learn to lie, and lie it will, because the rewards of telling the truth is punishment and pain. The rewards for telling the lie is no pain and no punishment. The child is forced to never speak the facts, speak the truth, and it will create its own babble, flibbing, flibbing. So, if I was raised on an island, say Britain, Hawaii, and the race of people that live there do not punish people, their children, for telling the truth, but rather reward them for it, you now got an operating system, the language, the words, that has no corruption. No need for lies, no need for 101 billion personalities, personalities, not characters. Mom, are you ready to be his friend? Yes. Try not to be that, that high up to be friends. I want everything to be low, okay? Okay. Just try your best. I, I don't want you and my dad to be replace and and me again. I want you and my dad to be placed and settled and be friends. I'm not trying to be me. I just want everyone to be friends. And if I can be nice, I think all of us can be nice too. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm trying to do my best in my heart. Nothing else than that. 
I want you, Mom, my dad, everyone to be friends. I want everyone to be smiling. Not like being mad. I want everything to smile. Especially when I see someone, I want them to smile. Especially Nana, everyone. I want everyone to smile. And if that's for my dad and you, Mom, I think you can do it. I think you can settle your your mean your mean heights down a little to short heights. Then it's both. Okay? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be a bully. I'm trying to be steady on the floor. Not way down. On straight. On the middle where my heart is. My heart is something. Everyone else's heart is something too. And if we live in a world where everyone's being mean, everyone's going to be a monster in their future. What if, if there's just a little bit of person and we will eat them, then no one will ever be here. Only the monsters in our place. We need everyone to be a person. Everyone, including me and my mom. Everyone. I just want everything to be settled down. Nothing else. I just want everything to be good as possible. Nothing else. I was loved by you. Thank you, Tiana. I was Come with me, I love you.